Since man first looked up at the night sky, we have been in awe of the stars. For centuries, we have gazed at them, dreaming of discovering new worlds and phenomena beyond our own. And thanks to advances in technology, that is precisely what we are doing. Countless space missions and discoveries have been made in the last several decades, and new revelations about our place in the cosmos keep coming to light. There seems to be no shortage of amazing space discoveries. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three incredible space discoveries and their findings. Did our DNA come from space rocks? The building blocks of our DNA have been discovered in space rocks, begging the question, did our DNA come from space rocks? It's possible that cosmic impacts brought the ingredients needed to create life on Earth. DNA is made of four vital ingredients. Nucleobases named adenine, thymine, cysticine, and guanine. For years, scientists wondered if meteorites could have brought these ingredients to Earth. However, until now, only adenine and guanine had been detected. Nucleobases come in two forms, called purines and pyrimidines. For a long time, only purines were seen in meteorites, and pyrimidines seemed to be missing in action. The main difference between the two is that purines are made from a hexagonal molecule fused with a pentagonal one, while pyrimidines are smaller and are made from just the hexagonal molecule. Scientists have now been able to find all the purines and pyrimidines that are in DNA and RNA in the meteorites that arrived on Earth. According to the astrochemist who led the study, Yashihiro Oba, the presence of the five primary nucleobases in meteorites may have a contribution to the emergence of genetic functions before the onset of life on the early Earth. The methods used in this study to detect the nucleobases demonstrate the incredible scientific advancements that have been made in recent years. Researchers used techniques that were originally designed for genetic and pharmaceutical research, that are able to detect nucleobases down to the range of parts per trillion. The techniques used were at least 10 to 100 times greater in sensitivity than previous techniques to detect pyrimidines in meteorites. The samples analyzed in this study were from three carbon-rich meteorites that had been previously suspected of having the capability to host chemical reactions that created nucleobases. Murkison, Murray and Tagish Lake meteorites. Although it's still unknown why purines were much more abundant in the meteorites than pyrimidines, one clue could be that purines contain a pentagonal ring called amidazole, while pyrimidines do not. Whatever the reason for this discrepancy, one thing is for certain. This study could be a breakthrough in understanding how life formed on Earth. Astronomers find the brightest intergalactic pulsar. Astronomers have discovered the brightest intergalactic pulsar ever just outside the Milky Way galaxy. The pulsar, known as PSR J0523-7125, happens to be more than 10 times brighter than any other known pulsar. These pulsars are fast-rotating neutron stars, or dense material cores from supernova explosions, regularly emitting radio pulses in intervals. This said pulsar is relatively close in the grand scheme of things, as it lies in the galaxy called the Large Megalanic Cloud, which is about 160,000 light-years away from Earth. The team, led by Yang Ming Wang, observed this newly discovered pulsar with multiple telescopes and wavelengths to try to discover its secrets. The discovery was unexpected because while scientists have discovered more than 3,000 radio pulsars in the last 60 years, only about 1% of those are outside the galaxy. In fact, many of the pulsars were discovered with the same radio telescope called Australia's Parkes Observatory. The telescope also happens to be the same one that received the video of the Apollo 11 moonwalk. While the said pulsar was difficult to detect because its beam was wider than most, the astronomers ultimately succeeded in finding it by using polarization data. Polarization is a term that describes how light's electromagnetic waves rotate circularly while the waves move throughout space. 
Human eyes are not able to see polarized light, so the team used the Australian Telescope National Facility, which essentially gave them a form of polarized sunglasses that made it possible to observe the events. While using the Australian Observatory, one of the undergraduate students on the team noticed a circularly polarized object that changed in brightness over several months. This is a very unusual property for pulsars. While the team attempted to confirm the discovery with the Parkes Observatory and the Gemini Telescope in Chile, they ultimately turned to the Meerkat when they were unable to spot the pulsar with the others. Meerkat is a radio telescope that only recently began operating in South Africa and was able to detect PSR J0523-7125. The team determined that using both the Meerkat and the Australian Square Kilometre Array Pathfinder telescope together could facilitate more pulsar discoveries. In addition, once the world's largest radio telescope, the Square Kilometre Array, is fully built, it should be useful as well. This pulsar discovery is just the beginning of what could be possible. Astronauts could get oxygen from moon rocks. Space exploration has surprised us with the level of rewards we continue to receive. According to a team of scientists at China's Nanjing University, compounds found in lunar soil may have the capability to produce oxygen and fuel to support moon missions. The team studied moon samples from China's Chang'e 5 spacecraft and discovered iron-rich and titanium-rich compounds that might be able to act as a catalyst in a process called the extraterrestrial photosynthesis strategy. This strategy uses lunar soil to transform water from the moon into hydrogen and oxygen. When astronauts exhale in space, they are producing carbon dioxide that could be used with the hydrogen from water electrolysis to produce hydrocarbons such as methane. The methane could be used as fuel for continued space travel. The paper that produced these findings is part of research scientists have been doing into how resources found on the moon can be used to further space exploration. Space travel is a costly endeavor, and the team is trying to find cost-reducing local resources to make space exploration more possible. Multiple space organizations across several countries are getting in on the action. Along with China's plans to test technology that uses local resources, NASA is also planning to create a long-term plan for a sustainable presence on the Moon with the Artemis program. The Artemis program aims to put people back on the Moon by the mid-2020s and set up a research station in the South Pole of the Moon by the late 2020s. Chang'e has been a massive success, as it was able to bring back the lunar samples that the team used to make this discovery. Incredibly, it was the first time in almost 50 years that a successful Moon sample return occurred, the last time being the Soviet Lunar 24 mission in 1976. Scientists will undoubtedly use this success to discover more secrets of the universe. In the past few years, there have been some incredible space discoveries that have captured our attention. From technological advancements to new planets, the universe continues to surprise us with its endless possibilities. But what do you make of these space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.